You one of the new workers? A lost tourist? Wait, I don't care. Just don't knock anything over. Hey, if it meant I could ignore my work, I'd let you talk to me about Sprat reproductive practices. Ask away. This terminal makes it pretty easy to match a ship's cargo to its manifest. If it ain't on the terminal, then it's someone else's problem. Figured it wouldn't last. Anything else? Wonderful. To give sublight more opportunity. Don't think I know you. What do you want? Yep, that sure is the passphrase, even if it is dumb as hell. What's Dash's plan? Because I'm gonna tell you where our package is, Hullhead. If I were part of an ambush, you'd have already been arrested. We're in the constabulary for law's sake. 
You're looking for cargo from our ship, the Rat King. Small package, wrapped in brown paper. It got moved to the shipping yard, but I'm not completely sure where. idea whether I'm telling the truth or not. Correct. Criminal. However, Constable Keen has decreed that this unit will remain here. Question. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. You submit a confession. Error. Information on recent exchange laws. Restarting conversation. Greetings. Criminal. This unit would implore you to confess to your crime of landing with an expired permit. You know what? My permit was fake after all. Oh, let me out of here. An aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keane. Formerly the constable of the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. No signs of life detected. Maria Keen is survived by no known relatives. Multiple puncture wounds detected along the frontal bone and between the clavicle. Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. Yes, Inspector. These entry wounds match the profile previously detected on the Rizzo's Rangers mascot. Constable Maria Keen was likely killed by someone wielding the needler. High concentration of potassium chloride detected. Trace amounts of neurotoxin detected. Mm -hmm. 
These substances show the highest concentration near the entry and exit wounds. Cardiac arrest, rather than physical trauma, is the most likely cause of death. Your memo has been noted. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. Banter protocol activated. We'll find the Sprat Bastards responsible, Inspector. Greetings, non-criminally associated individual. The Rizzo's Constabulary is currently not closed due to a spread infestation. Bureaucratic processes are currently suspended. At present, criminal reports do not require paperwork. Please lament only in marked lamentation Zones. Please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. Understood. This unit requires a moment to process this information. Information processed. Personal designation upgraded to acting constable. Thank you, law-abiding consumer. Error. This unit is incapable of inspection, deduction, 
unassisted apprehension or aggressive pursuit. This unit has been programmed to recommend a wine to pair with your grief. Wash away your sorrows with a glass of highly concentrated, partially fermented purpleberry. Purpleberry wine has a body richer than Byzantium's elite with an earthy aftertaste redolent of mostly oak. Purpleberry wine coming soon from Rizzo's. You. You got an appointment? Appointment? Yeah, that's why you're here. Appointment? Hm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. Inspector, you said. Well, maybe he'll appreciate your blunt charms. Maybe not. We'll see what he has to say. Mr. Kincannon, got an inspector here demanding to see you. Want me to call the guards? No, thank you, Eileen. I've been expecting him. Send him up, please. What do you think you're doing? All right, but I got my eye on you. Ah, Inspector. Eileen is my right-hand woman and the finest assistant to ever grace this office. She is also tremendously skilled in causing physical harm. I recommend you do not insult her with any further attempts at intimidation. Now then, here for my alibi, I assume. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah. Torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. 
That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. It's as I said, you shouldn't. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the Architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident and as such does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Nothing unsavory, and nothing Ludovico shouldn't know about, if that's your concern. I'm quite serious when I say Slug is a legitimate business. As to the specifics, I'm not sure. The warehouse foreman should be able to tell you. <laughs> Before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the theft began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. Has it? I wonder, how much of your luck has been luck, and how much are you downplaying as chance? Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads, me scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> Really, Inspector, no need to flatter me. <laughs> I assure you, you're already very much in my good graces. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? Constable Keene? Now that is a damn shame. 
Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? No, I played no role in the good constable's death. None. I'm flummoxed. I'd nearly forgotten how that feels. It's quite unpleasant. Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. Good. I'll hold you to that. We may have been on opposite sides of the law on occasion, but we were not enemies. Perhaps it will shock you to hear her loss saddens me. Maria was a decent soul, and law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. Indeed. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. You figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We had to talk shop one of these days. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. 98.3% of the dust particles are less than 500 micrometers in diameter. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Transmission endpoint discovered. The receiver in this book matches the transmitter to the listening device found in Cedric's office. It's somewhat grime covered. Uh, 
Due to the high level of foot traffic in this area, this unit is unable to determine who placed the device. Hi there! Sorry, this area is off limits to port vision. Oh, wait half a second. You're the inspector. Sorry about that. I'll buzz you right in. Feel free to have a look around, sir. Lot houses all its completely legally obtained inventory. Hmm? little buddy. They use this place to unwind. A cargo container? Caught.
You're the inspector, aren't you? Boskin Cannon said you'd be by about the cargo that's been going missing. Gosh, this is so neat. A real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Ever had to shoot a suspect? Well, yeah, but they weren't suspects. Right, so, the missing cargo. How can I help your investigation? Maybe they're keen on cashing out and want to go as painfully as possible. I don't know. Boskin Cannon's office is where he holds most of his meetings with important folks like Miss Helen. Just about all negotiations happen in his office, too. Vendor pricing, major purchase orders, rentals for construction projects, you name it. Everyone here at Freight Storage and Processing, for a start. Thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Best I can figure, it's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the shipping yard manager, he told me it's mainly just the loading automechs that handle cargo. Nah, Benton's too lazy for crime. The extra work would kill him. Last time I asked him to check the Automex, the whole head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. It won't bother him any if you have a look yourself, though. Hopefully, you're mechanically inclined. Oh, before I forget, I figured you might want to access my terminal, so I had a spare keycard made. It's all yours. I wish you were being sarcastic.
Hey, pal. Over here. Hey there. You're looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little more kick? The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it, I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? It says it right on the Anticleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. What do I sell? I've got premium shit, my friend. Vitamins like you wouldn't believe. Calcium, vitamin D, reverse vitamin D. I got everything, my friend. You got stress problems? I got stress solutions. Aromatherapy eases the mind. Dilute in mantisaur essence. Best kept secret in the business. And if you're a real freak, techniques to calm yourself by fooling your own mind. If they can tame the rage of a certain well-known tossball star, they can help anybody. Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I'll be honest, I don't really know where that puts us. All right, all right, fine. Yeah, I know, Birdie. So what? Yeah, damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Yeah, that was me. Birdie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Inspector, this loading auto mechanicals programming does not match factory default settings. The standard defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. Slug auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. Loading Auto Mechanical Unit K14 is fully operational at 99% power. Please designate the cargo to be transported and its destination. How can this Auto Mechanical assist you? Access Panel is open. Please be sure to close the access panel when you are done. Ejecting data log 17C alert. Failsafe protocol triggered. Kill mode initiated. Preparing to end user. Understood. This 
unit is programmed to facilitate user queries. Kill mode, pause. User termination, to follow. Ejected data log contains instructions to move cargo shipment 6, 8, 7, 5 outside the boundaries of the shipping yard. It also contains instructions to move randomized cargo shipments outside the boundaries of the shipping yard at intervals of 1 to 4 days. Apologies. This unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. Kill mode re-engaged. Have a nice day. Inspector, to what do I owe the pleasure? Ooh, I love this part. The big reveal. So tell me, what happened? Well, that is disappointing. Still, you said you've determined how the theft is occurring? Damn, you're good. Hacking the Automex. So that was our skimmer's game. But why? Everything that was stolen has seemed random. I certainly see no pattern. So, our culprit had something specific they wished to acquire and used the random theft as a smokescreen. I must say, Inspector, you've done excellent work on this case. But then that just leaves how the culprit knew where their true target would be, or indeed, that slug would soon possess it. Okay, that's very impressive. <laughs> Don't ever touch me again. Am I right to think what you found in my office earlier was the other half of this listening device? Not quite, Inspector. That listening device belongs to me. I lent it to Halcyon Helen to assist her with role research. Yes, I do realize that. Thank you. You'll recall the thefts began in the week leading up to her death. Plenty of time to hack an auto-mechanical and program it to steal. She must have died before she could turn it off. Unbelievable. I helped her. Gave her whatever she needed. I thought we were doing each other a good turn. This is a betrayal, Inspector. I do not take betrayal lightly. 
Helen should consider herself very lucky indeed that she is already among the dead. And that some other bastard beat me to putting her in the ground. It's as you said before. She's dead. If I'd known Helen was stealing from me, I may very well have killed her, or had her killed. Alas, I did not. Oh, that is good, Inspector. Now you are thinking in the manner you must, if you intend to get to the bottom of this mess. I wish you luck with your investigation, though I doubt you'll need it. You'll find Helen's murderer. I'm confident of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find a way to excise my anger that minimally damages my business empire. I expect it will involve shooting quite a lot of guns.
welcome back, hopefully law-abiding individual. Engaging guilt-tripping subroutines. You haven't committed any crimes lately, have you? Please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. Activating report writing servos. Activated. Please clearly enunciate the details of the crime. Powering report writing servos down. Be activated. Report canceled. 3.5 bits worth of power wasted. It's deducted from Constable Keen's estate. Is that a new outfit? Looking sharp.
You're back, I see. Hope the law hasn't caught on to what you're doing. Law meaning authorities, that is, not the forces running the universe. No complications? Grand. The recipient is Joseph Dempsey. He runs the Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry. Welcome back. The Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry is just as standard and unremarkable as when you left it. A shipment, you say? The only shipment I'm expecting is 100 pounds of saltuna a week from now. And I certainly don't expect it to be brought by an inspector. Is that supposed to be some kind of code phrase? It has no nuance, no subtlety. Sticks out like a bent nail. A constable could detect that from the other side of Eridanos. I learn about secret codes in my off time, for fun. It's never anything that I actually need to use, mind. An independent, huh? Be a big risk letting you into my sanctum. Though if you're telling the truth, I think it'd be more than worth it. All right. Follow me to the back. All right. So, as you can see, this actually ain't the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. Welcome to my black market. Whatever you're here for, weapons, information, contraband, cane and ointment, I've got it. Sorry for the frosty reception. Had to make sure you weren't with the constable. <laughs> but seeing how you're a freelancer, I hope I ain't got nothing to worry about. Good. A worthy freelancer is hard to find, since you're in the know, you can access my black market stocks, though you'll have to come by later. I'm waiting on my next shipment. Here's your pay. Good doing business with you, especially seeing how you didn't take this to the constable. Would have been a mighty pain in my tail end. Greetings again, my friend. Hope you've been keeping free of the yoke of the law. Within reason, that is.
Hope the job's coming along well. No sign of the constable, which really makes me more nervous. Excellent. Let's divvy up the payment three ways and we can consider this matter settled. What? That ain't gonna be enough to get Cass out of prison, and it ain't what we agreed to. Ah, shit. Looks like it was wrong to assume you were just like Hawthorne after all. Sure hope I can figure something out to pay Cass's fine. Ain't got nothing else to chat about. <laughs> <laughs>